Good morning, folks. Today we're going to take a peek at an earthquake swarm in Hawaii. We'll see first light from the Einstein X-ray probe scoping the galaxy, but we've also got an uptick in space weather events, so we'll start there with the last 24 hours on our star. We have several more pops around the peripheral regions from the Earth-facing view, but we also had a near X-class solar flare from the departing sunspot groups, followed by a solid eruption of a filament from near that area that has produced a sizable CME. The solar flare hit M9.5, just a shade under the X-class range. I've circled it here on the X-ray flux from GOES. It was those departing sunspots that gained complexity over the last 48 hours, flare flash and 131 angstroms. But what happened just after that is actually more relevant. You can see the coronal expansion here as a filament erupts, and this one did make a good-sized CME. SOHO coronagraph suggests most is going straight off the eruption point and will miss Earth, but it's a wide burst and a glancing blow cannot be ruled out. We will be checking the endless spirals today to make sure, while also continuing to monitor the plasma filaments which are facing the Earth and which are much larger. Let's hope those stay stable as they turn through. A couple active regions can be seen coming in from the limb as well. We're going to Hawaii next, where parts of the National Park have been closed due to a massive swarm of seismic activity there. There is some concern that the caldera could be getting more active, and that's likely the top geophysical alert for today and the coming days. Got a bit of eye candy up next. The new Einstein X-ray probe is taking on the Milky Way at both larger and smaller scales, from total plane views to globular clusters, and even down to individual features like this nova remnant, which you can see here still has its star in the center, a recurrent nova candidate able to go boom again one day. Lastly, folks, I have been in touch with Ventus Sky about the bad German model that keeps showing the wave anomaly in the South Atlantic. They say they have been badgering the German data group who claims to be working on it, and Ventus Sky is hoping it gets fixed before they have to pull that model entirely. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.